Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Elhamdülillah. Salatu ve selamu ala seyyidina Resulillah ve ala alihi ve sahbihi ve men ve la amma ba'd. My dear brothers and sisters, today I like to reflect upon another supplication that Prophet Ibrahim alayhi salam made. And this supplication, Ibrahim asks Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with humility and he says, وَجَعَلْ لِي لِسَانَ صِدْقٍ فِي الْآخِرِينَ And what he is asking in this supplication is that Allah leaves for him after his death an honorable and good name and good reputation. And we see by the grace of Allah how Allah has blessed Ibrahim with a kind of name with a kind of legacy that no one perhaps left behind. Today, Prophet Ibrahim is seen as a role model, as an example by people from every walk of life. Not only Muslims reveal Prophet Ibrahim and carry him in high regard, but even Christians and Jews consider Ibrahim with high regard and high reverence. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala responded to the call of Ibrahim when he asked Allah to leave for him a positive legacy, a good legacy, an honorable legacy that he will be remembered with later after his death. And that legacy remains until today. And what we learn from this, my dear brothers and sisters, is the importance of leaving a positive legacy. It's a fact of life that the time will come <clears throat> that we all have to depart. We have to leave behind everything that we acquired in this life. The titles that we had, the mansions, the expensive cars, the connections, the friendships, everything that we had in this life, we had to leave it at one time. <clears throat> and it will be all history. And we will only be remembered, not for what we have acquired, not for what we have consumed, not for the kind of dress we had, or the kind of cars we drove, or the kind of titles we had. But we will be remembered for the good work that we have done. We will be remembered for the positive contributions we made. We'll be remembered for the influences that we left behind. Yes, we remember Ibrahim السلام, today. And we remember him because of who he was. We remember him because of the kind of person he was and the kind of influences he had. Every time his name is remembered, people are inspired inspired to achieve the best and the highest spiritually and morally and in every respect, respect of their life. So my dear brothers and sisters, as we read the dua of Ibrahim and we reflect upon it, let's all also aspire to be like Ibrahim, people who leave a legacy behind them. Perhaps we might not be able to leave a legacy as big and as noble as Ibrahim. But every one of us should strive to leave something that he or she will be remembered for. And my dear brothers and sisters, we leave a legacy 
when we go beyond ourselves. When our life revolves around me, then our being ends with the end of us. But when we live beyond me to think we and to care about others, then certainly our legacy goes beyond our short life. I'd like today to share with you, my dear brothers and sisters, an inspiring story I read in the CBC News recently of a Muslim doctor, Dr. Suleiman Sifau, who originally came from Libya. <clears throat> he was an ophthalmologist who passed away about two weeks ago after a five years struggle with cancer. Now, Dr. Suleiman Sifau was noted in the CBC News and mentioned specifically not because he was an ophthalmologist, not because he was a doctor, not because he was a physician. There are many ophthalmologists, there are many doctors, there are many physicians. But he was mentioned specifically because of the kind of person he was and of the kind of positive influence he had and of the kind of legacy he left behind. Those who spoke about him, they describe him as a humble man. They describe him as a man who everybody likes to be around, a person who people would enjoy working with. They describe him as somebody who was not only competent in his area of specialization, but a man with a unique, outstanding character. They further mention him as someone who cared about his patients and go, went out of his way to care for them and to be available for them. His son proudly speaks of his father and he says that I'm proud to have to be a son of a man of his stature. Dr. Suleiman also, as mentioned in the report, was instrumental in collecting funds for a CT scan that was needed for the hospital where he lived in the Prince Edward Island, there was no mosque. And this was something that disturbed him. And he made every effort possible to build a masjid in this place. With his efforts and efforts of others around him, he succeeded in building a masjid, the first masjid in Prince Edward Island. So this man is remembered for what he did and how he influenced people around him. The people of Prince Edu Edward Island will remember him as not only an ophthalmologist but as a man who cared, as a man who went out of his way to help others and he would also be remembered as a man who built the first masjid in this island. My dear brothers and sisters, this is a kind of positive and good legacy that we should aspire or we should consider or we should, or we should see as something that everybody should see with great consideration. Certainly, everyone has different abilities, different capacities, different capabilities. But what's important is not the kind of, the kind of things we do or the kind of legacy we leave as long as it is positive, but what is important is having that spirit. Al-Imam Bukhari has a chapter about a woman. 
a woman who is not an ophthalmologist or a doctor or a scholar or a wealthy person, a simple poor woman. And the chap in the chapter he talks about her and he describes her as a woman who was cleaning the mosques. This woman could not do anything else. That's what she can. That's what she can offer. But for the work that she has done, until today, we remember her. And the Prophet wasallam made special prayer for her. So my dear brothers and sisters, regardless whether you are a doctor, regardless whether you are a businessman, regardless whether you are a person of any walk of life, let's all have that spirit of giving, that spirit of making a contribution, that spirit of leaving a, a positive legacy, the spirit of living beyond today, the spirit of living beyond myself, the spirit of sharing and caring, and the spirit of giving endlessly. The Prophet wasallam taught us that we give is what remains, and what we withhold is what disappears. It's reported that once a lamb was slaughtered, and the Prophet wasallam instructed his household to distribute the meat to the poor and to the needy. Later he asked Aisha, and he said, oh, Aisha, have you distributed everything? She said, we distributed everything, and the only thing left is part, I mean the shoulder, part of, of, uh, part of the shoulder. So the Prophet wasallam said, everything remained except that shoulder. Meaning that everything that was given away has been saved for us. It's an investment in goodness and virtue and charity. So we learn from this, my dear brothers and sisters, that giving and sharing is the real investment. That's what will remain. That's what we will be remembered for. Our, our good manners, our good character, the help that we, 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 we give to other people and that the assistance that we provide. Let's all strive, inshallah, to be like Ibrahim alayhi salam, people of good and positive legacy. Ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to bless us and to guide us. Thank you for listening. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.